what's up you guys this is Gabby and I hope you are well and what are we gonna talk about in today's video so in this video I want to give you guys a student loan update because a few months ago I made a video talking about how May of 2019 which is exactly about one year from now I was $71,000 in student loan debt. So for anyone who does not know me, I make a lot of videos about the career of social work and just career development in general. So as you can probably guess, I have my degree in social work. I received my MSW back in 2014. And honestly, during the process of getting it, my two years in grad school, I did not really think I was gonna make a dent in my student loan debt or ever pay off my student loan debt. Just the thought of paying off so much debt seemed so far fetched for me, a social worker, and it seemed very out of reach because I kept hearing about the public service loan forgiveness program and the way people in my classes and the way my professors were talking about it, it was as if that was the only option for social workers to actually pay back their student loan debt. So I started making videos on my channel about my student loan debt so I can give social workers a little bit of hope and let you guys know that it is possible to graduate with your BSW, your MSW, and get a job, put yourself in a certain position to pay off your student loan debt. You do not have to worry about drowning in your student loan debt for the rest of your life the way I was worried. If you don't want to work in the nonprofit space or in public service within the government, you don't have to sacrifice your desires to do so for 10 years just so you can get that student loan forgiveness. I remember in grad school, I thought it was such a limiting concept for me to have to work in a traditionally lower paid job in order to get this public service loan forgiveness 10 years down the line. I just didn't like the idea of having to cut myself off from other opportunities or to be in a lower paid position for 10 years just to get my debt forgiven. By building my skill set, building my credibility in my field, seeking jobs that are higher paid, I was able to put myself in a position where I actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. I know that within the next two years or less, my student loan debt of $71,000, which is what I started with, will be totally gone. As a matter of fact, from May of 2019 to January of 2020, which is about seven months, I was able to pay $20,000 off of my student loan debt. So anyways, let's get to the present situation. So as I told you, one year from today, I had a total of $71,000 of student loan debt and it didn't start off that high but when I graduated in 2014 I had piled on about $61,000 and I wasn't in the position or the mindset to start paying it off. So over the years from when I graduated May of 2014 to May of 2019 when I was finally in the position to start paying on my debt accumulated about $10,000 of additional money because of interest. You guys, you should really, really be careful of interest and make sure that your interest rates are low when you do take out a loan for college or grad school if possible. Because if you have a five, six, seven percent interest rate or higher, it's going to really make your loan grow immensely over time. So just something to consider. So right now, this is May of 2020. We are currently in a global pandemic and we have been in this situation for the past two months or so, at least in the United States. So in March of 2020, the economy kind of went crazy. People started losing their jobs. People started being laid off and nobody really knew what the state of the future looked like for themselves or their careers and their jobs. So like everybody else in March, I started being more careful with my finances. And up until that point, I was paying $2,000 on average a month on my student loan debt in order to pay it off quickly. My last $2,000 payment was actually in February. So in March, I made sure to pause on my student loan payments just in case I found myself in a tricky situation financially, I would be able to have savings. So instead of putting that money towards my debt, I kept it in my savings account just in case I would need it. So currently I owe $48,000 in total. I just checked the other day. And the awesome thing is, because of this pandemic, the government has made it to where your federal student loans are not collecting interest at this time, 
which I am very thankful for because I cannot imagine being in a situation where I can't make these regular payments, but I would have to watch my student loan amount grow and grow even more. So I'm super happy and thankful about that. And I do kind of feel for those who have private loans and may not be able to have their interest paused right now. But at the same time, it really did kind of slow things down for me. I feel like I was on that trajectory to pay off all of my student loan debts at a certain time. I had this very consistent schedule that I was following, but having to take a break from that did kind of lead to increased anxiety and just some worry because now I don't have the confidence to pay on my student loan debt and I don't know when I'm going to feel confident enough to start paying on it again. So I just feel like it's delaying my whole payoff process. It kind of sucks, but at the same time, I'm really blessed because I think I'm safe economically right now, despite everything that's happening. And I do think once the economy starts running again, I will be able to take the money in savings that would have otherwise went toward my student loan debt and still use it toward my student loan debt, if that makes sense. So march april and this month i have not paid my 2000 and let's say the economy opens back up in june if so i'll just drop that eight thousand dollars that i would have paid on my student loan debt over time from march to june anyway and i would have been caught up so hopefully over the next few months my student loan amount will actually be in the 30 thousands which is still a lot of money, you guys, I understand. But to me, actually looking on my student loan account and seeing the number in the 30s is gonna make me feel so proud because just a year or so ago, I saw that scary, scary number of $71,000. And it was just overwhelming. It was very horrible to see. So I'm gonna be very proud of myself when I'm able to be in the 30 range in the $30,000 range. And just because I'm like so ready to be done with this stupid student loan debt, you guys, I think, you know, since I was able to save more money during quarantine, I wasn't going out to eat, I wasn't going to the movies, all that, I'll probably put an extra amount of money, maybe like $1,000 on my student loan debt, along with the other money I would have put on it, just to make an even bigger dent. Because if I'm able to, then why not? The faster I can get out of debt, the faster I can move on with my life and make decisions that are based on what I want to do and not based on paying off my student loan debt. Speaking to those out there who maybe didn't go to school and maybe you don't have this debt yet or maybe you're not in a place where you're thinking about paying it off yet, when you have this debt hanging over your head, it suffocates you. You have to consider that debt with every decision that you make. When you're considering looking for a new job, you have to keep in mind your student loan debt. When you are considering a place to live, got to think about that debt. And when you're thinking about travel or recreational activities, you have to think about whether or not you can afford it with your student loan debt amount. So it really just impacts everything. And I'm ready to be in a place where I can actually move with freedom and not with my student loan debt amount hanging over my head. Now I made a video not too long ago talking about whether or not I think grad school, specifically getting your MSW is worth it. And I mentioned even though I acquired a nice amount of student loan debt in the process, I think it was totally worth it because it allowed my earning potential to significantly increase. Even though it sucks right now, I know that it's worth it because I'll only have it hopefully, right, <laughs> for the next few years and then I can go on with my life. So if you're someone out there who is strongly considering getting an MSW but you're very afraid to do it because you don't see yourself ever paying off your debt because social workers don't make a lot of money, social workers are always broke. You know, whatever these ideas that you have been taught to believe about the field of social work and about social workers, I'm just here to show you that there is a way for social workers to actually make a decent salary and be in a position where they can pay off their student loan debt. There are jobs that actually pay a good living and I make a lot of videos about this. I have a series on my channel where I talk about higher paid macro social work positions. Um, I haven't done a lot in the series yet, but I'm gonna keep pumping out videos about that. So if you are interested in the field of social work, but you wanna also make sure you can make a good living as well, this is the channel for you because I'm all about bringing that information to my viewers. All right, you guys, so real quick before I wrap this video up, 
I want to give you guys my opinion on the public service loan forgiveness program because I do have people who have asked me what I thought about it and whether or not they should rely on it. So I'm going to give my honest opinions. I hope you don't get offended. Um, if it's worked for any of you out there, that's great. And that's awesome that that was something that you could rely on and use to benefit yourself. But I have read a nice amount of articles. I've, you know, done my research and I found that it has been difficult for people to actually get that student loan forgiveness even after they've put in all that time, they've documented their time properly and did everything they needed to do they are still being denied this loan forgiveness. And of course, I never did the program, I've never applied for it, so I can't speak from firsthand experience about whether or not it works, but even the idea that it may not work for me makes it to where I would definitely be hesitant about putting my whole hopes and my whole future into that. Now, if you're someone who is interested in only working in nonprofit or only working in government, and you know that with your salary, you probably won't pay off your debt, and you have like $100,000 plus of student loan debt, and you have a very low salary, I think, you know, give it a shot, go ahead and apply. But if you're the type of person who have been able to land a decent salary after graduation, or you're like me and you feel very uncomfortable and trapped with student loan debt, I would advise you to map it out, get a piece of paper and pen, look at your salary, try to consider, you know, what you think your salary growth potential will be and do the math. Figure out if it is possible for you to cut back some areas in your life, not spend as much money on recreational activities or, you know, miscellaneous activities and see if you can pay a certain amount of money per month on your student loan debt and pay it off in a semi reasonable amount of time. Because I think sometimes we see that huge number and we automatically get overwhelmed. But if we sit down and we kind of do the math and check it out, we may find out that if we are diligent and if we're okay with foregoing some of the miscellaneous things in our lives and living a more minimalistic lifestyle, we actually do have a shot of paying it off. So anyway, that's my thoughts on it. If you have even just a little bit of confidence about your ability to pay off your student loan debt, I would say go through with that and not do the student loan forgiveness program. But of course, that's my opinion. So definitely do your own research because I don't want you blaming me if something goes awry in your life. So do your own research and just take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. So yeah. Hopefully the goal is that by September 2021 in a year and eight months, I will have my student loan debt of what it is currently $48,000 paid off. So here we are you guys. I'm a social worker just like you. I have my MSW degree just like you have or just like what you're going to have in the future and I'm on route to paying off my student loan debt. It is possible. I know a lot of people say that just because you study social work means that you are destined to live a life making a low income and working a very low paid job, but that doesn't have to be your future. It is possible to study social work and make a decent living as long as you're open minded, understand the power of networking and learn how to sell yourself for those jobs that have a higher salary. I hope this video gave you guys something to think about, gave anybody out there who may be feeling doubtful a little bit of hope and wish me luck you guys. This has been a journey I've been on for over the past six years. As I mentioned, I haven't always been diligent about paying off my debt because I just wasn't in the right place or the right time in my career, but it's always been hanging over my head and impacting the way I think, the amount of freedom I feel I have. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please leave in the comment section below if you have any questions or comments about anything I said in this video. And on that note, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much and see you guys soon.